Hello everyone, I hope all of you are doing well. With the advent of some amazing AutoML libraries, I was just wondering, will a data scientist be relevant in the next 5 years? Well, this video will help you get all your answers related to this one question. So without wasting any further time, let's kickstart the video. But hey, wait, it would be super motivating if you can press the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to be notified for amazing videos on data science and machine learning. With that, let's kickstart the video. Before I jump and give you the answer right away, I wanted to share some insights. What exactly is AutoML? Well, essentially AutoML or automated machine learning is a process of automating your machine learning workflows. Right from data collection to data preparation to feature engineering, to model building and then model deployment. There are various phases that are involved when you create a machine learning model. Some phases are very repetitive in nature. So you would be collecting data from a common source like web scraping. So in such situations, it is very handy to automate the entire workflow. Now what exactly is pushing AutoML beyond this normal automation workflow? Well, there are some amazing advances that are happening in the hardware front as well. So if you remember correctly, ML is taking off right now after 2010 or 12. The reason for that is your high compute power that is easily accessible. This wasn't the case when you think of 90s or your early 2000s. So now with the advancement of GPU technology where Nvidia is creating some amazing GPUs every day. I also read an amazing news that NVIDIA is collaborating with AWS to create some amazing solutions so that you can kind of trigger an AutoML solution directly. All these advances that we see in hardware are kind of propelling the AutoML frameworks forward. Now the second reason why AutoML is gaining so much popularity is because there are so many open source libraries that can automate the entire model building phase for you. I've already created a playlist around different AutoML libraries. I'll add the link to the playlist in the description section of the video. Feel free to check out the libraries that are included in the AutoML packages. The third reason why AutoML solutions are gaining so much popularity is because cloud service providers like Google and Amazon have created some amazing solutions around the AutoML framework. Amazon uses AutoGluon to find out the best possible model for you. Similarly, you have Google solutions for finding the best possible model. So in the entire workflow, you just have to upload some data and you would be given the best possible model that there is. And this is the reason why AutoML is gaining so much of popularity. Well, guess what? AutoML is not just restricted to tabular data. You have AutoML solutions for images, text, audio, video and the list goes on and on. Now if AutoML solutions are gaining so much popularity, should we study data science firstly? What will happen to the current crop of data scientists say 5 years down the line? Now do you want to know the answer? Will we actually be required 5 years down the line? Well the answer is yes. Most definitely. The reason for this is very simple. AutoML can automate parts of your workflow and not the entire workflow. When I say this, one of the major advantages that a human data scientist has over AutoML solutions is his understanding towards data, understanding of the business problem and how does he artistically create new features and do feature engineering so as to match up to what he's trying to solve. Till the time AutoML libraries don't learn this, I think our jobs are pretty much safe. In order to demonstrate the power of feature engineering, let me narrate a short story to you. It was around 2 years back that I was working on a classification problem. I had good number of features with me and I had a target variable. I tried out different machine learning algorithms. I kind of tuned every algorithm to the best possible hyperparameter as well. And I was getting an accuracy score of around 83%. We wanted to push this algorithm more and we wanted to create a model which was much more accurate than the current version of the model. So what I did differently was I kind of created new features from the existing columns. And I could easily see a gain of 2-3% to using this awesome feature engineering that I did. 
it's okay to initially create features which are not relevant essentially you can drop those features off when you do feature selection but the more you think of creating new features the more are your chances of increasing your overall accuracy of the model so till the time auto ml solutions don't learn how to create new features don't understand business really well i think our jobs are secured so uh, this is what i wanted to share today there is so much buzz around auto ml that i wanted to clear this off that should you actually worry about auto ml in fact what i can also recommend is rather than say worrying about the auto ml solutions taking up your job you should start using auto ml solutions to quickly create prototypes of your data that you have and see how good your auto ml solution is providing so i don't see auto ml taking away our jobs but essentially it would kind of expedite the process of model building for all the data scientists out there so this is a small video that i had in mind in terms of showing you the powers of auto ml and yeah it i don't think it's going to take away our jobs in the near future so yeah this is all that i had i hope you found this video informative if you do like the content that i post on my channel it would be super motivating if you can press the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to be notified for amazing videos on data science and machine learning thank you so much for watching this video